happening, guys, gals, and pals? It's a do. We're still here. There's one thing I know through all this that's keeping me sane. Two things. Coffee and wine. And since it's only 8.30 in the morning, I guess we're going to go with coffee. It could be wine, though. It could. We've got a package here from Bones Coffee. The coffee gods have blessed us with a package. It's still early. So, Bones Coffee released a new flavor. It's called Mint Invaders. It's mint chocolate chip. Uh, uh, it's supposed to taste like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And fun fact about me, I love va uh, vanilla mint anything. Mint chocolate chip is my absolute favorite flavor of anything. So, figured I'd buy, buy it and give it a try. And if you want to see more coffee reviews, please let me know. Send me some links to some uh, coffee houses, especially independent coffee houses. Because I am not a coffee snob. In fact, I like coffee and I will drink any old burnt swill that I can get my hands on. Because I am an average person. Alright, so I ordered two things here. Okay. Wow. Okay. Alright, so, first things first, they sent along a little promo thing here. We've got a mask, which is very nice. It's a Bones Coffee mask. Now, these are nothing more, these are not going to protect you from much of anything. They're, you know, rough cut. In fact, the ones I got from Nine Line are better, but these are um, nothing more than a cotton, nothing more than a t-shirt mask. You can see how absolutely bone thin they are, but they work and they are better than nothing. See that? All right, so I also got my other, one of my favorites. We've got some uh, high voltage. Now, these are the uh, K-Cups because... I, uh, I'm lazy. I admit it. I'm lazy. But if you want me to give a review on these, please let me know. I absolutely will. These are the, uh, the double caffeinated, the high caffeine, uh, coffee. And, um, I certainly need these. Even though we are all stuck at home, I, my sleep schedule is, uh, shit. So, <clears throat> alright. This is what we've got. Mint Invaders from Chocolate Space. I love that artwork. Ooh, that is such cool artwork. That is, that's a very Mars Attacks artwork. That is so cool. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to test this two ways. First, I'm going to test it black, even though I hate black coffee, but for you black coffee lovers out there, I'm going to do it. Second, then I'm going to make it my normal way, which is two packs of stevia and then two tablespoons of, current, of creamer. Currently, I have flavored creamer, so that will probably um, inform my opinion. It's French vanilla, so it will probably go very well with this. So I'll be right back to you. So let's, uh, let's give it a whirl here. I hate black coffee. Um, it was a little bit more minty in the uh, when you when it's brewed up, not not too heavy. Hmm. Well, it's not very. It's not bitter. Slight. Well, no, I take that back. Slightly bitter. Slightly bitter. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I definitely taste the mint more. Uh, no chocolate. No chocolate whatsoever. 
does not taste like ice cream as advertised. <laughs> At least I don't. I mean, not the mint ice cream. I, I eat Turkey Hill for life. <clears throat> Although, I will say, as you sip on it and get, get, more of, get more of a mouth feel to it, it does get mintier. It really does get mintier. So, let's get some, let's get some uh, stevia and some, um, some cream in here. And let's see how it would be on an average morning. All right, we are back. I've got two packs of stevia in, um, and I have two tablespoons of uh, French vanilla creamer. So uh, International Delighters, something like that. I don't know. I just grab whatever. I, th this day and age, I just grab whatever, whatever is there. So, oh yeah, that's much better much better I definitely do not recommend drinking this black Ooh, that is much better definitely tastes like ice cream now definitely definitely the <clears throat> especially with vanilla the vanilla creamer it really brings out the chocolate and the chocolate notes excuse me <clears throat> really brings out the chocolate notes the stevia adds the right amount of sweetness to it um i would not recommend adding more than what i've added here i actually probably could have gotten away with a little bit less and probably would have been just as good but you know on the safe side you know i'm used to burnt swill you know, basically is what I call it. You know, I do not live in a coffee mecca. But this, no, this is good. It's really smooth. It's definitely not one you want to drink black. It's not a good, it's not a good black coffee. It is a good, um, it, 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 this is a good, This. you know what this is? This is a good after dinner coffee. So that's, that's what this reminds me of. This is a good after su after Sunday dinner coffee, it, it, it's what it's good. It's what it's good for. So um, <clears throat> that's about gonna wrap it up today. I went on on this longer than I planned to, but when do I not? <laughs> so if you want, as always, if you do want me to review this uh, the high voltage, please let me know. I will absolutely do that. To so let me know down in the comments. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.